Hi, I'm Jared with Weatherby, and I want to do a short video today to show you how to install your directional brake. Um, first, all you're going to do is unscrew your thread cap, and uh, these guys on our carbon barrels are uh, 5 8 24. You'll take, your, uh, you'll take the directional brake and ensure that uh, your locking nut is screwed all the way in. It helps to have this locked in some type of vise or some other thing, but uh, honestly, you could do this in your lap if you, if you needed to. Um, once you screw it all the way in, you'll notice that the orientation is not, um, not optimal. It's not exactly where you want it. Um, so all you're gonna do is back this off a little bit and uh, get it about level where you want it to be. And then you're gonna take that nut and you're just gonna tighten that against the barrel. Um, when you get that a little bit, I'm gonna use this level, but you could actually eyeball it just looking down the gun. Um, we're gonna get that pretty close. And it's basically what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna use just a little bit of blue tape to protect the finish there. And a crescent wrench. Um, I think this, uh, I believe that's uh, 13 16 so you could use an actual box wrench if you have uh, one that fits. And I'm just gonna give that just a little snug. Um, doesn't have to be crazy tight if you're using a big wrench. That works just fine. And uh, that is about perfect. Um, I'm using this small level and uh, um, you could use this if you have a rail, but also too, if you have a scope with a level built in, um, you can use that. And then also the flats on the muzzle brake itself can kind of show you where you're at. Um, and you can just rest a level directly on top of that. I'm gonna go just a little bit more, make sure that's tight. I think that that is gonna be about perfect. All right. Um, if it is a degree or two off, um, you know, it's not going to affect accuracy. Uh, the directional brake really helps uh, reduce dust, you know, getting blown down below you and obscuring your view every time you, sh you shoot. So it kind of helps to keep that gas uh, porting away from uh, the shooter and uh, off to the sides. And that's how you install a directional brake. Take off your tape when you're done.